Welcome back to Area 51 Raceway. So we're back to part seven. So this is placing your guide and soldering it. So here we go. This is where um, I would usually fit my guide. Now I use these. This is from a, this is from a Professor Motor. It's the guides you could get. I can't remember the part number off the top of my head. And what I did was I centered it. Now this line that I have drawn in here, don't don't worry about that. I usually put that as a reference, but sometimes it doesn't always fall through, but it doesn't mean your chassis is, you know, crooked or anything like that. It just means that it's just, it's just position tilted the way I position the back of the motor bracket. I didn't get exactly probably straight, but you know, it, it's just a, a reference guy. Don't freak out if you don't see that line up. What you want to do is make sure that your distance from your caliper that you use here from the back is the same as the front right here which it was that's why i pinned it and that's where i have it see right there it's perfectly in there so don't worry about that line i know it it kind of throws you off so I'll disregard that but it's square trust me sometimes i've seen this happen before it's a little off and i don't let it bug me that much so i what i've done was this is scrap 8151 brass uh, square brass tubing that i had lying around now here's another thing, if you get a lot of scraps, what I recommend is not to throw it away. Keep the scraps because you know they come in handy sometimes for small things. Now you could use also uh, the, if you know, if you have any 1161, you could also use that as to put it in between there, you know, like I did with the, with the um, guide there. but. The 8151 works the best, so if you, I would get a strip of 8151 uh, as part of your your building uh, materials. And what I did was I slid this in, I put these down and I slid these in between, in between these two, kind of opened this up a teeny bit and it'll fit in there perfectly. So I have my guide set where I want to and so this is an example right here. So here's uh, the flag I'll use or the uh, guide flag, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to place my car over it. And I'm going to look at, just for shits and giggles here, let's say that's, I can't really, you know, that's the middle of it, say the center of it, and, uh, and basically you look under here and you'll see where your guy's going to end up. And it looks like it's inside the car somewhat, so, and then that's fine, that, that's perfectly fine, and this is just upside down to show you how it would be if it was down in the slot, but that should be perfect enough that's that's a good spot for that and that's where I'll solder my guide right there and basically I'll solder here here and then here along you know against this frame here and uh, get it all get it all soldered up and then afterwards I'll chop these off right here and here and there's your excess and there's excess scrap you can keep around for you know rainy day or something uh, but Anyways, that's how I set up my guide. Uh, I would usually pin it too, like about here, and then pin it. Whoop! Drop that one and pin one, pin it back here so that it doesn't move or anything. Just as not, you know, to keep it stable. It usually shouldn't move at all when you're soldering it because it's pretty tight there. But that's that's what I would do there. And then also, as you can see, I got these lined up too. The two pieces, make sure they're at the top shoulder here of this. You don't want this sticking out. I figured just right here would be perfect to give it, you know, make it look good and make sure that it's soldered against this. And this is soldered on the frame, on the frame rails. And this will go nowhere. This guide will be on there forever. I mean, it's, it, it'll be fine for what you're running on your track. Uh, but so that's that part. I'll solder that up. And this is basically... Uh, almost the makings of a car <laughs> of a chassis and then what you're going to do is make body mounts there's different ways to make body mounts too and i'll get into that on another video but for now just solder your guide and uh that's pretty much it and uh, for this part then we'll go over adding mounts like if you want to add flat mounts here or you could actually do a mount from the back which i did on one car on the last build i did which worked out pretty good there's different ways of doing it. Everybody has different techniques. So, But that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching and have fun racing.